today is Thursday 420. 420. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, like we really care about that. <laughs> okay, and just want to let you guys know we're going to start vlogging much more. So you guys better subscribe, like our videos, follow us because there's going to be a lot of good news coming and hopefully a lot of good news, right? So today we're going in late to work because I get a call from our fertility doctor that she had a cancellation, and we're gonna be we're gonna go see her today. Well, today this morning to talk about the treatment, about the frozen embryo transfer, when can we start, and you know the process and everything. We kind of know the process because we did that um, fro the fresh transfer with Andrew. But this is a little bit different. It's the frozen one. So we want to know how the process is and hopefully we can start soon and start our treatment and hopefully our baby sticks. And we have another baby, right? Or two. Or two. We don't know. Might be one, might be two. We still three. don't know. Could be three. Don't know. It could not happen, right? So we're excited. We're very excited to go and see her and she's really nice so I'm just excited to see what's next what's gonna happen like I don't know I'm, I'm excited are you excited yes tell me what you feel are you excited I'm excited nervous you're nervous butterflies in my tummy <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're both very nervous even though we know what we're like you know the process, but still like nerve wracking going through it. It's like a emotional roller coaster, as you can say, because it's a lot of emotions involved. Like it's the waiting game, it's everything. But I'm excited, so we'll keep you updated. Um, we can't record in like in the office, but as soon as we get off, we'll, we'll vlog a little bit. And we'll talk about you know what the doctor said and. Uh, hopefully we can start our treatment soon and I know um, we're not telling our moms about the treatment it's gonna be a surprise for them I know they don't watch the blogs and if they do I, I don't they don't watch your mom doesn't watch the blogs and my mom doesn't watch the blogs as well so not yet, not yet. yeah so we kind of don't want to tell them about them because we don't want them to find out what we're doing I know my daughter watches a blog and she better keep her mouth shut and not say anything to her grandma. So you hear? Don't say anything to grandma. Tell your boyfriend not, not to say anything at all. Like, nothing. It's a secret. So, that way, it's we want to do something cute for our moms when they find out, you know, that we're pregnant again. And we're excited that we're going to start this journey again. You're excited, my love? Very. Our family, hopefully grows and gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Party of 10. Party of 10. That would be great. I always wanted a big family, so it will be good. I want to have seven, eight kids. I got four. Maybe one more, two more, three more, four more. You never know. Right? We're going to have to get a mini bus. I told her we're going to have we don't fit in this one anymore if we get twins or we got more. We're gonna have to get like a mini bus. Even if we have one more, I think that's it. One, one more and and three kids, that's five. And that's two, that's seven. And the car is a seven seater, so Can no we one get else. like a little attachment on the back? We might be able to get a little attachment. Like a little, like a little seat. Yeah, there is some. Um, we might get one just in case when we pick up your mom or my mom we can send one of the kids to the back and we can at least off it or we'll figure it out we'll see just excited just hoping praying to god that everything goes good which it will i have I had a good feeling about this like i did with andrew god there's so much traffic yeah, there's always traffic down the five freeway it's what it's six oh it's a little bit later though it's 6 45 and it's like always bumper to bumper. That's the only thing I like about California. It's freeway traffic sucks. So, but you gotta love Cali, right? I love Cali. 
Yeah. Okay, guys. So we'll be back after the fertility appointment. And let you guys know how I went. I'm so tired. My wife is tired. Do you want your bread? We oh we went yesterday to this restaurant, and the name is Klaus. It's kind of like boiling crab. If any of you guys have tried boiling crab, it's really good. The sauce is really good. We like the the sauce. The shrimp is really good, and we don't really like the fries. They're okay, but I don't know why I got sick. My stomach was just like really bad all night. Like I got nausea. And I don't know if it's the shrimp, that's the second or third time that happens after I eat shrimp. So I don't know if maybe, I don't know, something not, might not be able to eat shrimp again. So I'm going to give it another try and see how it goes. And also, our baby is sick. He's, oh, my papa, he's sick. He has like a little cold. And we had um, we had him outside on Sunday, that was Easter. We were on the little patio. And it wasn't it wasn't cold cold but it was you know a little fresh and we don't really have him like outside without a blanket when it's fresh we usually have him bundled up and i think maybe that being outside it was it was late it was like past seven we were still outside so it was late already and he got a shot on um, monday and he got the flu booster too so i don't know if that also like trigger something and but I don't think so because the doctor said that it usually doesn't like make you have get the flu unless you have like you know already coming down with something and people think it's a shot but it's actually not the shot so I think it's probably from that day that he was outside because we gave him a bath that afternoon so we gave him a bath and then later on we, we took him outside and it was fresh and so I think maybe that made him he has a little cold so he's been like sneezing and sneezing, he has a runny nose, his eyes are like a little watery. We had a rough night with him. He was waking up, he was crying, he was like tossing and turning, he couldn't fall back asleep. And then his um, top teeth are coming in, so his gums are like super inflamed. I, I think that's also like, I don't know, making it worse. So hopefully he gets better soon. We don't want to give him any medication yet because it's just a cold it's gonna have to go away on its own there's really nothing that you can give and we don't like giving our baby any like you know any type of medication unless it's like necessary so just have him you know he'll wear off okay you ready scream with excitement you ready oh wow that's exciting Okay, I like bugging her. Okay, guys, we'll be back. Everything's good. 
And if everything's good, we'll talk to her. I mean, and we'll decide if we want to do both. My wife doesn't really want to do both. I want to do both and then just get it, oh, get it over with. No, her. because it's riskier to do both. Everything's risky in life. No. <laughs> Everything's risky in life. Everything. Even one, two, three. I mean, everything's risky. So, well, we need to talk about it and see if that's something we can do. And if it is, then we'll do both and pray to God they stick and they're healthy. And I'll take care of myself. I have a month to lose at least 10 pounds. I have to go down a little bit just to be on a healthier weight. But we're excited. Starting soon. <laughs>